Just a quick word for today. Psalms 119.93 says, I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. Today God is dealing with my mouth. Well, more like this season actually. <laughs> I'm learning that it's so important to have a small circle of people you can confide in, not just to avoid gossip, but also because the more we grow in Christ, the more we learn that there is a spiritual battle that is constantly going on. When, when we confide in too many people, we willingly feed them the ammunition they need to attack you. In this season, God is asking us to be careful who we tell our business to. Just because God is revealing things to you doesn't mean it's for you to share with anyone. We have to start bridling our tongues in this season. The Bible says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. That not only applies to what we speak over ourselves in our own lives, but in the lives of others as well. I don't know about you, but I want to produce life in this season, not death. Be slow to speak, not just about your life and family, but when you deal with others. Don't give out advice willy-nilly. Unless God gives you a word for that person, take the time to pray and seek God on it. And if he leads you to say something, then say it. If he doesn't, keep your mouth shut. How you release a word makes all the difference and can either bring life to a person or kill them completely, resulting in a lost soul. Lastly, know your role. Know that God may have called you to a certain ministry, but if you have, if you have yet to make it to full maturity, there are some things you shouldn't be doing. Be respectful of the leadership that is over you and allow them to be led of God as to how to deal with situations. I'm guilty of that myself. I get into mama bear mode and want to help the world, but I can only get out of place doing that, especially if I wasn't supposed to be dealing with it at all. As you go through your day, take time to reflect, to ask God for wisdom and how to deal with what comes your way in life, family, and in the lives of those around you. Pray before you give out any advice and be careful what you choose to share with people. Know that God and your pastor should be the main ones you should be confiding in. Why? Because they are your covering. And they're the ones who can do anything about your situation. I'd rather talk to someone who can do something about my situation than to tell the world and end up the subject of gossip any day. Until next time, watch your mouth and be blessed.